Lucas Media wanted to do something different. Clearly, there's a veneer process, some quack in down there in Houston, fake to be a doctor, and it messed somebody's teeth up permanently. Let's take a look at this video. Happened after hours in this office tower back in March. This morning, that victim tells me he's still having trouble chewing. His Man. real teeth are at risk of rotting, and one of the veneers he got here has already popped off. This video on Could you imagine that, especially if you didn't spend thousands of dollars? Ever Veneer's Instagram page shows Sharon Robinson walking in for the appointment he thought would change his life. Your teeth is, it's your smile, it's your face, it's your look, Facts. it's your identity. And while his post-work smile looks pristine, it's what can't be seen that he says is causing many problems. I have open pockets, so food is getting in. My teeth don't meet where they're supposed to. And those pockets can be painful too, honestly. I mean, you know, you... You can get, um, was it air pockets, like when you get your teeth pulled. One of them actually popped off. The business Instagram page has more than 54,000 followers. It appears to be filled with happy clients and all the work that they had done. That's what caught Sharon's eye from states away. It's not like it's a genuine reaction. They're telling you, do this, smile like this, say this. The ad. Of course, they're going to do that because, you know, they want to build a brand. You know, this is social media. It's all a facade and, you know, people want to keep this type of stuff up. So, of course, yeah, I get what he's saying. Like, oh, you're being small for us, man. Like, even when I get my teeth pulled, the first thing they asked me was, can you get a survey? I'm like, man, I'm literally drugged up. And I can barely talk. And you want me to give you a survey right now. 20 veneers for the price of $8,700, court records show. He flew on his own dime from Rhode Island to Houston for a 3D Man. scan February 22nd. He returned three weeks later for the install when an employee at Forever Veneers used power tools to grind down the surface of his teeth Whoa. and place the veneers over adhesive. When he started having problems, they wanted him to come back to Houston. They weren't willing to compromise with that at all. He called. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So this man got complicated for his teeth. He didn't spend thousands and y'all can't get him a ticket back. Texas State Board of Dental Examiners learning the man who did his procedure didn't have a license to practice dentistry. Jaden Mayork is now charged with a felony. We went by the office Monday. No one answered and the lights were out inside. That would be a major red flag. Dr. Austin Falk is a licensed dentist in Texas. Veneers usually start at a grand per tooth, he says, warning against choosing services on social media. There's a lot. Yeah, I mean, I'm about to play the rest of this, but uh, let me say this, honestly. If people want to get stuff done, it's their body, their choice, right? But you got to do a lot of uh, research on this because social media, they can make you think that it look good and sound good. Like I say, like people go overseas and get stuff done. But a lot of times you can tell that they had overseas work. So, you know, if it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Variables than just looking nice going on there that you have to be aware of and be careful about. Jaw joint pain, cavities, and gum health, he says, are just a few of the long-term effects of botched veneers. You could even, in extreme cases, have tooth loss. That's a reality Robinson is anxious about. Yeah, man, I, I don't know. I really hope that the things work out for this brother. Trying to find the money to have the smile he hoped for removed they've taken advantage of every person that sat in their chair i'll leave that up to god what's deserved but i know they did me wrong robinson says he's already spent thousands of dollars out of pocket on travel and on a dentist back in rhode island to fix what's going on in his mouth he says eventually he will have to have those veneers removed and this morning record show new york has not been arrested on this charge the houston police department tells me additional victims may be out there if you have any information no, he needs to be. He needs to be under jail. First of all, when you do, when you do, when you work on somebody's mouth, people can pass away. You don't know what you're doing, and you know, I'm just trying to figure out how was he able to get a an office when he doesn't have work to do it. There was also, and I think this might be going on in Texas too, where a lady was doing surgeries and, and botched over a hundred uh, hundred women doing BBLs. Like, but people, please. Please make sure you do your research. Don't just go off Instagram pictures. You know, try to try to do actual reviews and things like that. Because when it comes to Instagram and Twitter, people can make anything look good. Like I said, I know people who have went overseas and gotten surgery done. And I mean, it really looked like they got what they a lot of them got what they paid for. Some didn't, but some did. So 
you know, this is one of those slippery slopes. Like, it's dangerous anywhere to get stuff like that done. But, you know, I, you got to do your own due diligence when it comes to stuff like this. But I really hope that this brother gets some money back. Whoever do it, I hope they get tried and, and get sentenced to the max. Because if you want to be work on teeth like that, just get the proper paperwork. Get the proper license. I don't, I don't understand it. Just do what everybody else got to do. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Like I always say, am I tripping? You know, is it me? But let me know what y'all think.